My name is Colleen, and this is my kitchen. I struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey at a size 26W weighing just over 300 pounds. In almost a year and a half, I've lost over 120 pounds, and I am a size 14. No W. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can cook healthy food without compromising on taste and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. I have a delicious soup for you tonight. I hope you're as excited as I am about it. And it's a roasted sweet potato and rosemary soup. And I really love to roast the sweet potatoes first before I get the soup going, and that's because uh, it just adds this lovely, sweet, caramelized flavor that you don't get otherwise. And so it's going to start with one pound of sweet potatoes, and I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and what I like to do is have these, keep them with the peel on, have them lengthwise, just like that. I'm just putting them on a uh, baking sheet. I have not sprayed the baking sheet. are a lot like an onion, just a little bit milder in flavor, but you chop it very similar, same kind of way, just uh, have to get the outer layer off of there, peel that peel off, and then chop up the rest of it. And you want these shallots really minced up, you want them pretty fine, because they're not going to be pureed up. They're going to be whole in the soup. So they're going to add just a little bit of texture, but you certainly don't want them in, uh, too large in there. Now that I have my shallots in there, I'm going to add just a pinch of coarse sea salt, layer in a little bit of flavor. Now I'm going to be using a homemade chicken broth that is salt-free a little bit later, and so that's why I'm adding salt now. If you're using a store-bought chicken broth, don't add salt until the very end, because even the reduced sodium chicken broths that you buy from the store are still very high in sodium. So you don't want to add any salt to those uh, until the very end when you can taste your soup and uh, just add what you need to flavor it. So while that's cooking, let's chop up some rosemary. And I love rosemary. I think the, the more the better. And the flavor combination that you get with, sweet, with the sweet potatoes is just to die for. So I have three small sprigs. Once this is uh, chopped up, it's going to give me probably around, oh, a tablespoon and a half of chopped rosemary. And so what you want to do with rosemary is just pull those needles off. You don't want the stems because they can be pretty tough and woody. 
And so you just pull those needles off and then we're going to mince it up. And you want it fairly fine again because this is not going to be pureed. And so you really want it to blend into the soup. Let's go ahead and add that rosemary that I chopped. And the shallots cook pretty quickly here. They're already browning up really nicely. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and deglaze the pan. And I'm going to use a quarter cup of white wine. You want to use a dry white wine. I am using a Chardonnay. Now, you don't want to use something like, say, a Sauvignon Blanc or some of your Pinot Grigios, even though those are dry, and that's because they tend to have citrus overtones. And um, so you don't, those don't mesh very well with the sweet potatoes. So I chose a Chardonnay for this particular dish because it's very smooth, kind of oaky, nutty, um, and has kind of uh, buttery, um, a buttery texture to it. So it goes really, really nice with the sweet potato. I just use my spoon to scrape up all those little brown bits off of the bottom of the pan. Oh, that's so good. So now what I want to do is go ahead and reduce that to low and let's get uh, our sweet potatoes prepared to add in there. So I have my food processor here and I'm going to just take my spoon and get the sweet potato out of those peels right into that food processor. It comes out really, really easily. Just make sure you don't get any pieces of the peel <laughs> sticking in there. Then to the sweet potato, I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I really love to add this in there. It gives it a little boost of protein. It also lends for a, a little bit of a creamier texture. And then I have uh, four cups of a homemade chicken broth. I'm going to start by pouring in, oh, maybe a cup. And if you don't know how to make your own chicken broth at home, it's so easy. I make big pots of it about once every other month, freeze it in my um, freezer, and go from there. If you pick up my Soups and Stews book on Amazon for the Kindle or on Smashwords.com for other ebook readers, I have actually some uh, broth recipes in there for chicken broth, um, uh, ham, beef, and even vegetables. So once I put that in, I'm going to go ahead and pulse this up. And my soup is a little bit thick in there, so I'm going to add a little bit of broth here as I pulse it. Give this a try. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time in my kitchen.